What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty NDV10. Uh, I have got two, four, six, eight, ten sovereign backs to show off today. Um, but before I get started with that, uh, shortly I am going to be embarking on a little um, T206 info journey uh, that I'm going to kind of put together for YouTube. Uh, just kind of a maybe a weekly thing, uh, maybe bi-weekly if I can find the time. Um, I know a lot of people that watch my videos, um, and I, I truly appreciate each person that does, but maybe they want to learn more about T206, uh, how they were made, what they were, uh, the different backs. So I hope that this can help somebody who's looking at possibly um, taking the dive. So without further ado, that'll be coming up shortly. Um, first card is going to be Bill Hallman. It's a gorgeous uh, front there on that one. Very, very good looking card. There we go. It's a little bit better on the lighting. So Holman is a 350 only. Um, scarcity is 309, so not a very tough card by any means. Um, he comes in a variety of backs uh, that you'll kind of see a pattern establish. Um, he comes at AB 350, Broadleaf 350, Carolina Bright, Cypher 350, Drum, APDG, Old Mill, Polar Bear, and Sovereign 350. So Sovereign, one of his lower, um, lower tough backs, you would say, but cool example there. Uh, next up, we got George Summers. Thanks, Max, for the heads up on this one. It's another... Gorgeous looking card in the new slab. Another forest green back there. Um, Summers is a 350 only as well. Um, 354th on the scarcity list. Very similar. He's AB 350, BL 350, Cycle Drum, Sovereign, and Tolstoy. So a um, little bit of variation there between Summers and Hallman on what is possible. Uh, next up is Lou Fine. This is a portrait of uh, the Chicago White Sox. 350 far screen back. Um, this one comes in all the same combos as Bill Hammond. So they may have been on the same sheet. Very possible um, due to them all coming in the same backs. Uh, this one, Otto Kruger. Another 350 only back. Very, uh, very gorgeous card. <laughs> Maybe not him, but the card itself. Uh, and he comes in the same back combos as Hallman and Fine. There's just been no drum found of uh, Otto Kruger. There's probably only one out there. It may be raw or it may be in the trash 100 years ago. So. Very similar. Um, Kruger's scarcity is 230, so he's a little bit of a tougher card than Fine or Hallman, but um, being the 350 only, very similar back distribution. Uh, they just have never found the drum back. So, All right, next up we got a 350 only. For some reason, I, I was thinking he had some 460, but I guess not. Um, this is Owen Wilson and another... Somewhat tough card, uh, 240 on the scarcity list. Very cool, cool looking pose there. Glare is giving me some issues today, so you guys will have to forgive me. Uh, this is an SGC4, probably a slight overgrade, but it is what it is. Um, actually, just got a Tolstoy back of this card, which is a PSA Pop 1. It'll be two soon. <laughs> Um, very cool card. Back distribution, very similar to that of, uh, these guys, but he comes in Tolstoy, which I now know where two of them are. Well, I know where one of them is on the way to my house. Uh, now we're getting into some of the fun stuff. This is Al Bridwell. Uh, he's a 150, 350, uh, subject. So very, very tough off back. Um, 256th on the scarcity list, but if you were looking at just off back uh, scarcity, he is way high up there. He only comes in Hindu, Old Mill, Sovereign 150, and Sovereign 350. I've got a nice example of a 350 here. It's a great card. Um, very happy with this one. Sovereign 350. 
very tough card. Uh, next up, we got Patty Livingstone. So this card, super common uh, on the scarcity list. Out of 520, they deem this to be the 494th toughest card. So not very tough at all. Uh, but interestingly enough, this is from the Endicott New York find, um, which from what I was able to look up was a collection that was consigned to Heritage Auctions in 2015. It was basically a complete Sovereign set, a bunch of Linux, uh, it had a, an Eddie Plank and an Air Maggie. So um, but this was just a gorgeous card. Uh, love, love this card, SGC5. It's actually Patty Living Stun, but they spelled it Stone on the card. So kind of cool. He signed his butt off for uh, back in the day. I guess he lived quite a while. Uh, these next three, two of them are just beautiful, not tough. And then the one at the very end, very tough. Um, we got Harry Davis, Davis on front, 422 on the scarcity list. But this is a more modern representation of a four interpretation by SGC. And it is gorgeous, as you can tell. Very good looking card. Uh, this is a candy apple green back. Kind of cool. Bit tougher overall. Um, Davis comes in a variety of backs. He broadly 460 cycle drum, yada, yada, yada. So happy to have that. Whoops. Where are you going, Owen? All right. So next up, this may be one of my best looking cards. Um, it is only a four, and I do not know how. This thing is gorgeous. Just a beautiful card. Danny Murphy batting, another candy apple green back. Murphy, pretty easy card, 450 on the scarcity list. And he comes in a variety of bags, drum, cycle 460, broadleaf, um, obviously sovereign, you get the point. Um, next card and the last one of this video, very tough card. Um, so this is one of the team swap variations. Uh, this is George Brown. And uh, this card in particular is a 350 only short print. So um, his 150 only counterpart is um, Chicago. Same looking card, nothing different only except it says, uh, this one says Washington, whereas the 150 says Chicago. So great color, great registration on this one. Uh, he is a very tough, very tough off back. He only comes in old mill which PSA has as a pop four. I've been bothered to look at SGC because their site is broken. And then Sovereign, which um, PSA is pop 33, but that is very misleading. So a lot of these cards have lower Sovereign populations than this card. Uh, but when you go to look at off-back collectors and overall scarcity, this card, very, very tough. Easily the most expensive uh, out of all these. Um, Scott Reader has this card as 72nd on the scarcity list and the Chicago variation as 26th. I think those should be flopped. Uh, this card, only like 260 something graded total um, across all backs, whereas the Chicago version, there's almost double that. So I think these two should be flipped. Um, but anyways, and in any case, I am very uh, happy to have that one. So that's all I've got, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Nine minute video. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.